And welcome to Love Boat Chit Chat. I'm your host Jam. And I'm Krishi from Film Society. Today we're going to be doing Love Boat Chit Chat, a debating show where we debate serious topics to outright silly ones. And what are we debating today? Today we're discussing flicks and films. So let's have our debaters come in and cut to the chit chat. Hello, my name is Cristiano. <laughs> I'm Lewis. Uh, this is my first year at Flix, uh, my final year of uni. Uh, I, I'm Joe, uh, second year at Flix, love this society, and I am the resident movie lover. Every film from me gets five stars. If it doesn't, don't watch it. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, I'm Max. I've been at um, Flix for three years now and on the chair this year. Hi, I'm Becca. This is my first year at Vix. I've enjoyed being in it so much so far. Is the music back in the back of the Oh! 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 Every single answer I get to question is a way from the top of But to me, in my heart, it's correct. Minions 2 is a movie I've not seen. But. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done. But considering people's reactions to it and the dumbass social media trends, like wearing a suit to the cinema, great. I've been there. I've done that. It's not very funny, especially when it's a bad film. Are those people throwing bananas at the screen? Like, you're mentally deranged. This does not make you a good film. Like, yeah, I do stupid stuff in the cinema, I shout at movies when they're bad, but I, that's just extreme lengths, okay? It does not make it a masterpiece. Making fun of a bad film does not make it a masterpiece. Morbius wasn't suddenly good because people started media, and the same goes with minions. I honestly, ugh, I can't, I just can't, I can't. It's, it's killing me. <laughs> Um, so I would actually agree with Joe. I only just went a bit more neutral because I haven't seen it, so I couldn't really put it off. But I know it's a Minions film, so I don't think it can be on the same set because it's a cinematic masterpiece. But I just wasn't as dramatic as Joe was. <laughs> I'm passionate about dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it either, but I've seen the first one. Anyway, it's a kids' film. Zego, so it was really well received by kids. So it's far, like, to me, that's a masterpiece. So kids adored that film. You know, that's, don't watch it if you're not going to like it, you know? No, I, I liked the first one. I thought the first one was great fun. You know, you just have to like turn your mind up and go, yeah, I'm going in with the mindset of a child. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I haven't seen the second one, but apparently it's better than the first one. It's kids' film, you know? You're going to like it if you just chill. No? Well, I didn't tear you off that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the Bechdel test relevant today? If there's anyone that does not know what the Bechdel test is, please raise your hand. A test to show a, a feminine power in a film without the bringing of any uh, masculine figure inside of it. Oh, oh, no, 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 there are some films where it doesn't necessarily apply and it doesn't work in the context of the film and it can still be feminist and not be misogynistic but I still think it's an important test just for some, not the be all end all but it still holds a lot of value I think today. Yeah, I do agree with everything Becca said, like there's just not, like we agree but so then, but our solution is different where I'm just like the test was meant to be a joke in the first place so it's not like meant to be a real test and there's just that is such a bare minimum to hit that it shouldn't be you shouldn't be celebrating a film if they hit that test because it's so and it's a shame that most movies don't but it's such a like pathetic test to just have two girls in it that yeah. chat to each other like there's much better ones and there are films that like are very feminist that don't pass that test because for a variety of reasons but I think there needs to be a higher standard to hold movies to rather than just something so simple because a lot of the biggest movies we watch like a lot of the other ones don't pass the test and should do go beyond that test and do a lot better for women. Is it worth making sequels or remakes? Just you should be strong. I mean, no, I guess not. Yeah, so I think it depends on the film. If we're talking about a million sequels, stop making Marvel movies. They're not good. Fast and Furious is amazing. Just stop making Let's go. Some film, Top Gun Maverick, is infinitely better than the original. Like, like the first one is so boring. It's cheesy 80s film, the second one is amazing. 
when it comes to remakes, West Side Story, the new one, oh. blew me away. I cried oh. so many times. Shut up, it's amazing. <laughs> it's, but it's so beautiful in loads of films. So there are times where the remake can really enhance the film. There's time where a sequel can, like, if it's made by someone with love, rather than a studio committee, pumping out another Iron Man does whatever Rubber Shine is. Quite amazing. Uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> wow! Then, <laughs> um, like, yeah, they can be amazing. I, I just, I just don't like it, but I don't think I would like the original. Too, yeah, so. it was not worth making. There was one other guy in the cinema with me opening day, and I just want, like, I just want to add to what Max said. And like, remakes and sequels are really good if there's a need for it. It expands on stuff that's already done. Like, Puss in Boots too. I think it came out a decade after the first one. And it's, it's amazing. Like, it's really compelling. Avatar too did the exact same thing. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio did the same thing. It's putting his own spin on it, it's adding something new. Disney's Pinocchio, rubbish. Don't watch it. I mean, the original's good. Don't watch it with my right Anyway, I'm not. Yeah, just quickly say, in general, I think sequels are a lot of my favourite film sequels. You know, like Terminator 2, you know, as long as it's done you know, properly, and like, we maintain there's a need for it, it's great. And there's a lot of ones that films aren't that great, but the you know, sequels are actually yeah. fantastic. Or, Film that's bad, and then the sequel's also bad, but in a good way. You know, like the Sharknado series. Come on, oh, I, 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 I wouldn't give them up yes. for the world. I wouldn't give them up for oh, the world. They're fantastic God. films. You know, same album and Chipmunks. Love them. You know? <laughs> Obviously, some of them are awful, but it's still worth making because there are a lot of good ones. You know, you can look at the reviews and you can tell it's going to be bad before. And like the Disney ones, I know a lot of people don't like them. I love some of the remakes, to be honest. But the important part, again, for Disney is for the kids, you know, it's getting a new generation into those sort of films. They're not going to necessarily want to watch the cartoon films. Remaking, when it's like you know, 30 years after the original, it can be really useful, you know? Some people don't want this old, let's face it, not great animation stuff. Well, well, I'm sorry. I, I can't allow someone to... trying to disagree Disney, with everything. Disney animation is not like a bad animation style. I was okay, like, if, you're, if you're a kid, right? A kid these days. Do you want to see a scary photorealistic lion? Talking to people, no, okay, no, talking to other lions, no, 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 or do you want to see a nice stylized animation in a no. nice hand-drawn art style? Like that's all I need to say. Like the original animations were so good, they didn't need upgrading. In fact, they've been downgraded in that effort. Our Marvel movies, action cinema, or theme parks. Is it theme parks that way? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think that quite a lot of them Marvel films, I don't think the but I don't think you can generalise over all of them. I do think there are some instances, but they particularly do stand out. But I do agree with on the whole with Marvel. You can't call it cinema, but. You need to look at specific cases. First of all, I used to really like Marvel. Like, I think you mm. separate like general, just the concept of like a super movie about superheroes and the MCU, which is a disgusting thing. So, oh, but like, like DCU, I like I like them when I was a child, but also there's nothing wrong with being called like a theme parks are yeah. good. You can be just a roller coaster movie. You don't have to win an Oscar. Be happy with being. The second film from there. Second biggest, like, blockbuster of all time. <laughs> like, just be happy with that. Why do you also need to win Best Picture? Like, just be happy with your place in the world. Like, why do you make your shitty little place? Like, just be happy with where you are in the world. Is Pussy Boots better than Avatar 2? Oh, oh, it's better. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know you don't like it. Oh. I love both. Yeah, we know how much you love it. I'm taking a hard time too, actually. I'm... I do love Avatar. I want to say, I do think Avatar 2 was fantastic. Yeah, it was great, but I think a big part of Avatar 2 was also it was in cinema. Yeah, I watched it in 3D, it was great. But Puss in Boots 2, don't know how it was so good, but it just, it, yeah, it blew me away. And I really wasn't expecting to like it that much. I thought everyone was joking about it being good. And it's just sublime. Like, I thought Avatar 2 was great, but I think there's a lot of great films. Puss in Boots 2, I genuinely thought was just top, top tier. And consider from someone who doesn't like animation, I thought the animation style was great, I thought the plot was great, I thought you know the acting was fantastic, it's what everything about it was done perfectly. You know, DreamWorks, they know what to do with their stuff and I would really appreciate it. Just think <laughs> I don't think we shouldn't hit two queens against each other. <laughs> <laughs> You've got two perfect things. I love I do love Avatar and the only lover of Avatar ever I could fight for 13 years. Also Fizzle Boots 2 was amazing and I cried, so I cried at both. Just, yeah, I just I, I like Avatar more. That's why I'm on disagree. But I think they're both pretty perfect. Yeah, one thing I haven't watched either of these films, which is really bad. I know. All I haven't watched the first Avatar either. But to me, oh, they just seem like blue people. I know it was really revolutionary. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you just make like blue people. <laughs> Someone's just, a future racist. I can't it believe it. It just seems like yeah, it was really cool yeah. at the time. All that fun stuff. But I'm just like yeah, cool. 
And then, but I've seen that bomb clip of Pussy and Goose on TikTok, and it was actually quite simple. Oh, <laughs> so that's why I just shifted over to the side. Go for it. So there's this term labeled oh. as <laughs> post avatar depression <laughs> syndrome. Avatar was that good of a cinematic experience. People got so lost in its world, they got depressed when they exited the cinema. And that's what originally made me go all the way over to that side. Because Avatar 2 is a complete escape. But at the same time, Puss in Boots 2 is an amazing movie, right? And when. His last spoiler. Get out! Get out! That's not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. And he's going towards. This last one. No, no, thing you were about to say after is a spoiler. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> it was that was just in my head. It was not a spoiler. I was just imagining that because I'm such a big Shrek fan. And that's a wrap. Thank you for the chitter chatter. Thank you everyone. Thanks guys. Thank you.